Hi, I'm Clever Ghoul, but you can call me Nikki. And this week, we're picking up a project that we tried to do a month ago and that just didn't go right. So I shot a whole intro and talked about this a month ago, and maybe I'm gonna insert some of that footage here. So if it goes in and out of me looking like this and me looking like this, you know why. Recently, I've noticed all this colorful glassware at stores like Anthropology. I don't wanna pay that much for colorful glass. So basically I thought to myself, let's get some clear glass and make it colorful. And when I tried that last month, I had two different methods I was going to use. One of being this like stained glass effect paint, which I did for some of the objects. And then I was going to use alcohol ink on the rest. The thing with alcohol ink is it takes a long time to dry and it's you have to do it outside because of the fumes. and and at the time when I wanted to do this, that was when we had crazy storms in California and I could not go outside. So I started off by just using these paints to color some of the glass. And then by the time that I realized everything wasn't gonna work out, we lost out on having a video that week. So again, I'm gonna insert some footage here of what the glassware looked like before. And this was all that they had at Goodwill. It's not my taste exactly, but I think we could even make this black and use it for Halloween-y purposes or spooky decor. The other items I got at Goodwill were two of these pieces of drinkware and I think they could be really fun to turn into little votive holders. And then I went to my dollar store. They have some good stuff, including this little funky candle holder. I got this glass candlestick and I'm so excited to dye it and turn it into something new. I'm thinking hot pink would be fun. This I actually got at Michael's. It was 30% off. And I also got this the same time at Michael's. So I did paint some of the items. They would kind of need a second coat, but once I realized that that video wasn't gonna happen that week, I just kind of abandoned it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like after doing one coat of the stained glass paint. And I did these two glasses in a light pink and I kind of want them to also potentially be a little bit darker. I'm still debating it, so we'll come back to these. But that's what I have so far. Once again, in my efforts to try and use alcohol ink, we're now having wind with crazy gusts. So I don't really have anywhere outside that I can do this where dirt and dust and stuff won't just stick to the alcohol ink and I'm not just gonna throw a craft away like that and let it get ruined. So I had to think about another way that we could do this. And there was someone on TikTok, you know, I'm gonna try and find the, the video here and I'm gonna link it below. But she was using Elmer's glue and food coloring to make these like stained glass looking panels for her windows in her apartment. And they turned out amazing. So we have some clear Elmer's glue and we're gonna be trying that as well. So the methods today are paint and Elmer's glue plus food coloring. So let's get into it. It changed because we're working with dye and paint and I don't want to screw up my clothes. And then I'm going to probably dye this. I'm thinking maybe a blue would be pretty for this. So for that, we're going to use the Elmer's glue and the food coloring. I actually have two different types of food coloring. I have the neon, which has more fun colors. And then I have the regular. I'm also trying a new way of filming this week. I actually did this for last week's video, which never made the light of day for multiple reasons, mainly being that I had an excruciating migraine for three days and was not able to finish editing. So I apologize for that, but if I ever miss a video, that's likely the reason why. I'm going to mix this Elmer's glue with some food dye, like I was saying. The blue in this neon pack looks lighter than the blue in the primary color pack. Well, it's not really primary colors because there's green, but the regular red, yellow, green basic pack, the blue looks darker in here. See how this one on the right, my right, your left, is lighter than the blue here? So I feel like this is lighter. It could be a total trick. It's probably a trick to get you to buy both packs, but I guess then I was I was easily tricked and manipulated. So I'm gonna use the blue from the neon and mix it with some glue until that seems about right. I don't know how much I need, so I'm gonna put a little more glue. It's probably fine. I'm just, I have craft volume insecurity. We'll go with that. Okay, so I'm gonna drop in one drop and see what that achieves. Ooh, oh, that's very blue. Maybe when we apply it with a thin coat, it won't be so bad. It's a little Listerine-y, a little toilet bowl cleaner, a little Gatorade cool blue. Those of us who were um, old enough, those of us who are old, do y'all remember when Gatorade came out with the blue color and it was like 
whoa. So I've done one coat around it so far. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and then probably apply another coat. I actually am really enjoying this glue process. I've made way too much, by the way, but I really am liking how this blue is turning out. And part of me is thinking, what if I took pink and glue and put that inside of this instead of using that stained glass paint again? Partly because that paint takes forever to dry, but also because I would love to see how that color combo comes out. I'm gonna do what I just talked about. I'm gonna put some glue in here and I'm going to put some of that neon pink dye in here. And then I'm gonna brush it on the inside of these glasses to see if it makes them pinker. I'm curious to see. Okay, let's try painting this on in here. So far, I don't really see a difference, but that's okay. Now it's time to do this. And as I said previously, this is not exactly my taste. I wish it just didn't have this top part, but I was thinking this could be a fun Halloween decoration. And I was originally thinking black for it, but now that I'm doing all these fun colors, I'm debating, do I do it green? Do I do orange? Do I do purple? Keeping it Halloween-y, but also maybe it could stay up year round if I end up liking it. Okay. I think I think I've settled on orange. I don't know why, it's just calling to me more than purple is. I want it to be more of like a yellowy orange than like a red orange. So I'm gonna put two drops of yellow, one drop of red. That may need to be adjusted. Dead. Kinda rhymed there. Ooh, it's giving Haley Williams hair color. I love her. It feels wrong that she has to dye her hair that color of orange. It feels like that's just her natural hair color. Oh yeah, this, this baby's gonna need multiple coats. I'm really glad I'm doing it this way because this way feels really accessible and like a craft anyone can do. You probably have Elmer's glue in your house. I mean, the clear is the best if you want this stained glass effect. You know, another reason I didn't, I'm hesitant on alcohol alcohol ink, I do want to try it I, and I will do it on this channel eventually, is that it's flammable because it's alcohol ink. And since I'm using these mainly as candle holders, uh, not a good idea. You know, I'd obviously have to end up using LED candles if I do do alcohol ink candle holders. Just be really safe when you're doing your craft is all I'm saying. God, I just love crafting. I don't know about you. I hope if you're watching this, you're someone like me who is a silly goose first and foremost. I also also just the peace that crafting brings you is like unmatched. I love making things and honestly, I love doing this channel and I would love this to be my main gig. I also want to do eventually bigger projects that take longer and I don't know how you guys are feeling about that. I know I say that and there's 24 of you subscribed, but all 24 of you mean a lot to me. So sometimes I think doing a project or doing two parts, even if I release them a week apart, would y'all be interested in something like that? Please let me know in the comments below because I want to keep you guys engaged and interested too. Partly why I'm even filming this way this week is because I just, I would love for you to get to know me a little better, get to know my personality a little bit better, and you know, we can engage a little bit more. This is so soothing, just painting glue on glass. I'm kind of concerned that this is an activity that one would do in an asylum, you know, to be kept calm and it's working. To be honest, it's working. I don't feel a sense of dread and foreboding like I usually do. Now we have this funky piece I got at the dollar store. Let's do purple for this guy. So I mixed up the purple and start painting it on. I want to keep talking to y'all, but one, my camera battery is dying. And two, I kind of want to listen to Ethel Kane. The reason I usually just do voiceover is so that I can listen to my sad girl music while I craft. Anyway, I've done the first layer of purple on this and it is stunning. And of course it's not picking up on camera really. It is like the softest lavender lavender lilac gorgeousness. Okay, so I'm still thinking about what color to do this guy. I keep going back and forth. So yellow or hot pink, and I just can't pick. So we're gonna say pink is, is one, yellow is two. Pick a number between one and two. It says one. It says one. So pink, that's what I said, right? Pink. Pink it is, let's go. All right, so I finished the hot pink candlestick, which you guys are gonna have to wait and see in the reveal. It's pretty cool. But now I'm just going back in and doing a second coat lightly on this one. So after I do this layer of blue on here, I'm gonna go back and do another layer of the orange and another layer of the lavender on those pieces. The little cups, I don't think they need any more color added to them, so I'm probably gonna leave them alone. Honestly, I think after you see me here in this clip, it's gonna be time for the reveal.
Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram at cleverghoul.yt. See you next week.